Hello, and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about developing accessibility in your themes. Designing for accessibility means being inclusive to the needs of all users. Accessible sites have benefits including faster load speeds, better SEO, and useful for marketing your product. Now, let's go over four accessibility best practices and some idea of what that means when you start developing your theme. Using image alt text. Alternative text is an image description that can be read aloud by a screen reader. Adding alt text increases the contents of accessibility to the visually impaired user. All HTML image elements should use the alt attribute to provide text of the description. An example of this would be if you were to inspect this image, the alt text would be provided right here. Next, let's talk about the ARIA label attribute. There are other options for providing text for images. Developers can use the ARIA label attribute in accordance to the web content accessibility guidelines. This is a technique that provides assistive technology with the ARIA label text instead of the image alt text. The ARIA label attribute uses an ID reference value that matches the ID element attribute to associate an element with text. Screen readers use the text of one or more identified elements that can be referenced elsewhere on the page. Now let's take a look at an example of our laundry cart. Now we've already seen in the image where the alt text can be provided, but for the ID of where it's being pulled, we would also need to create an ARIA label. The ARIA label is selected at the link itself so when a screen reader is going down, it can give a voice activated identification of what the user is selecting. Next, let's talk about text accessibility. Text accessibility involves making the content readable and understandable. You can achieve text accessibility using the following methods, color contrast, headings, font size, and text alignment, and text links. Color contrast is an essential factor in visual accessibility. Avoid using dark colors for both the background and text color, instead using contrasting colors to achieve better visibility. There are some tools to be used that we will go over later in the video that can provide a better context of what would be ideal, but generally the contrast ratio should be 14.9.1 which meets the WCAG guidelines. With your headings, text headings organize and provide structure for the page, helping users to understand its contents. Headings should be logical, clear, and concise. A uh, following example would show heading structures should and be used and what should be avoided. When using your H1s, H2s, H3s, it should be following a logical order. It shouldn't be in the mix and match of just from a design aesthetic perspective, but it also should be inclusive. Your main heading should be an H1 to indicate the main contact. An incorrect example would be using an H2, which should only be used for subtopics. Avoid breaking the heading sequence to prevent fragmented accessibility experience. Font size and text alignment. The use of white space around blocks of text makes it easier to read. We recommend the following text formatting. Left aligned text, font size at 14 pixels, 55 to 65 characters per line, and a sans serif font. Text links should be unique within a page and meaningful when read out of context. The following example demonstrates how you can make a link text meaningful. For example, no information. For more information on how to modify the login form, click here. Meaningful information would be taking that same sentence structure and saying, read more about modifying the login form, where the link click here gives no information, but modifying the login form gives meaningful information. Final point is on keyboard accessibility. 
Keyboard accessibility involves making a theme accessible without the use of a mouse. Ensure you can navigate to all links, menus, buttons, and the form field using the keyboard. To test the page's keyboard accessibility, press tab and key to navigate from the top of the page to the bottom. The navigation order must be logical and intuitive. To enable an element to participate in keyboard navigation, use the tab index global attribute. An example of this would be for our carousel wrapper, we have a tab index of negative one. You can learn more about finding out the layout of your site and if it's keyboard accessible by, for instance, selecting up your URL and just being able to navigate using tab. Now we mentioned using tools to see if your theme is fully accessible. Some tools include using Google Lighthouse. Google Lighthouse is an open source tool used to improve web pages performance, quality, and accessibility. For this example, we will be using the BigCommerce site itself. You can access Lighthouse by coming down to your developer tools, selecting Lighthouse, and analyze for accessibility. As you can see, it gives us a score and identifies the elements that are missing. This is crucial for creating accessibility to meet compliance when developing your theme. You generally want your score to be 90 and above. Another tool that you can use is Access Scan. Access Scan provides a bit more in-depth detail when it comes to auditing your theme. It will give you a bit more information and link you to sites that will show you compliance and how to correct and avoid for the future. This tool is quite useful because it does split everything up into categories, which makes it easier when you are going through and making these corrections. Creating an accessible site is fundamental for developing a theme. I hope this was helpful, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.